All right, guys. So Valentine's Day is around the corner and it's time to get started with some Valentine's Day crafts. Hi guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Come check out today's video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, check out some of my previous videos, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget, I try and link everything I used in the description box, and if I can't link exactly what I used, I'll link something as close as I can get. Now let's get started. Recently I visited the bullseye section of Target. Is that what it's called? The Target Dollar Spot. I can't remember the real name for it. But they had these blush wine glasses. They were two for three dollars. So we're gonna start our craft using these. Here you can see I'm melting down one of the tall Dollar Tree candles. I chose the red one and I'm starting it on low heat. I did leave it in here as it started warming up and I'm told that if you have it on lower heat it creates less bubbles. So I cleared off some counter space here because if you remember when we did our Christmas candle I moved it too soon and it created the dip. I don't want that to happen this time and you can see here's the one that I had on the counter where I was dumping my extra wax and that one did not get a dip inside of it. So I'm hoping that we will leave these setting long enough and I will not mess with them so that they don't have the dip in the top. Okay guys, so funny story. I had started this melting and completely forgot about it. My husband comes over several hours later asking me if I still wanted it in the pan. So we're gonna go ahead and get it dumped into our wine glass. Just make sure you definitely have something holding onto it because that glass is gonna be really hot. And then you just gotta pour it in. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that. And let our wine glass candle completely set. Oh my goodness, that is so cool to watch it change colors just right away on the outside because the glass is so much cooler than it is. All right guys, here we are again at my oven slowly melting down a candle. I don't know if anybody noticed when I was pouring this in, but I forgot to put the wick in, and so we are having to do another one. All right guys, so we finally have our candle with a wick and I think it's super cute just like this. If you have any idea how I can get the wax out of this cup and still be able to reuse it, uh, let me know in the comments below because I need suggestions. That's a lot of wax and that's a fragile cup. Otherwise, we finally have our wick in our candle. So we're gonna go ahead and trim that down and then we're just gonna hot glue it to this guy. Then we're gonna go ahead and decorate the bottom. I have a couple different options. Hang in there with me and we'll go ahead and check it out. Before I put the hot glue on here, I'm just going to warm it up a little bit just because when the hot glue hits something cold, obviously it's going to start to cool faster. So I am just going to go ahead and warm up the bottom of this candle as well as the top of this candle stick and then we'll go ahead and do it as fast as we can. Now I did just plain hot glue. Remember that if you use hot glue and a 6000 it's going to hold a lot better. If you use just the hot glue it can pop off if it gets too cold or bumped too much. Alright guys so originally what I was going to do is I was going to put some twine around the bottom here just right here but the more I'm looking at it the more I don't like that because I have this gold this really more elegant look to it. So what I want to do is I want to test out these two options. I have this, which is just some like gold cord from Hobby Lobby. It was from last year, and I thought that might be nice because of the gold top, although this is shiny and that's matte, so I'm not sure. My other option was I thought I would paint this with some matte Mod Podge, just cut like a strand off. I didn't like either of those options, so we're going to go ahead and do something completely different. I have some painter's tape and some hazelnut colored Waverly chalk paint. I'm going to go ahead and split up some of these sections and we're going to go ahead and paint. I just have to be careful unless I want to pop this off, which honestly with hot glue, just let me show you, it's not that hard. This glass is a little thinner because it is a wine glass, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke my thumb under here a little bit and then give it a little wiggle and off it comes. Now we're going to go ahead and paint this and we will re-hot glue it together. Just so you know, when I did do the squeezing and the wiggling, it did kind of crack that a little. So you're going to want to make sure you have your, have everything set up beforehand. But with art, it's trial and error, right? Oh my goodness, you guys, I cannot even tell you how much more I like this. What I did is I did the hazelnut on these places that I had not taped off. And then I took this gold metallic folk art paint. I'll go ahead and link everything in the description box below. And I just went over that so it would really have that gold look and I thought that would tie in 
so good with this top part and it does Woohoo! so now we're just gonna hot glue it and take a quick look guys here's a final look at our simple valentine's candle I hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to do another craft with you next week. And until then, bye-bye.